Hello, ladies and gentlemen. What they do is control everything. Prime ministers, kings and queens and presidents are just figureheads over sections who take orders from the powers that be. It has always been this way. Since the first lie was told and somebody was deceived and gave up their power, <laughs> it's been spreading and spreading and spreading. And as it's been spreading, the people have become weak and weak and weaker and weaker and weaker. And yet, we can see a way out of this mess. The way they have it is that they want to use you until they don't need you anymore. They want to get you to advance technology and stuff to do the work that you do and make you useless to them. They want to be able to have technology that would allow them to travel the universe. And when this is done, when the capability exists, then those who are not needed to serve the master must be disposed of so that the others who have been chosen, who have been selected, can have space that they can breathe and be free, they think. <laughs> and so that's the plan that the leaders got for you. You hear George Bush Sr. talking about the New World Order. You hear everybody talking about the New World Order, the chips and putting cameras and on every corner, all over, you sneeze, the camera come on. So a sensor somewhere goes off and a camera's right on you. Every word that you say might be snapped. And they just watching you. I mean, just want a total control. And oh boy, this thing is something else. So I think about how they're doing it. And everybody works for them. They have come to you. You heard this story about Jesus. Somebody took Jesus up on the mount and offered him a some stuff if he do it the way he wanted it done. It done. And Jesus wouldn't do any of it, right? Okay. And his reason, you know the reason. Can't worship two masters. All right. Now, so this is the thing with me. You know, I know none of us, we all Christians. You know, everybody is a Christian. Who so they say they're Christians. But being a Christian doesn't make you be Born again. Born again basically means that your eyes have been open. You see, you've seen paradise. You've seen love in operation. And so you can see all the things that is preventing it from happening here. And it is that the ones who can see it, it is their duty to fix it. It is their duty to fix it. And so what they offer is for them and not for all. But what we offer. See, we're going to have to take this thing. The power that they have came from you. You gave it to them. Sometimes you don't even know you were giving it to them. But now that you know that it is your power, you're going to reclaim it. And they don't have any power over you. And that your aim and your intent is to utilize the resources of the earth to do things as you have gifts to contribute for one another. Because in so doing, you it is not you that's doing it. You are a tool. But what you're really doing is you're doing the work of God through God's creation for that spirit which is us. So to be born again means to see that. And not, let me tell you, you remember the story about how the state needed more workers and it was okay for children to marry children or adults to marry children just to produce workers and no one complained if they did they did it in their little spaces because it went over real well and then only when they got enough workers and said okay we can cut that we can slow it down now then they passed a law that says children can't marry children and adults can't marry children. And it's illegal and you can go to prison for the rest of your life if you start violating these rules. One day it was okay. Next day it wasn't. 
Now, does God operate that way? I'm, imagine. Do you think God operates that way? I mean, if it's wrong, it's always wrong. And if it's not wrong, it's never wrong. So, this is, <laughs> you see what I mean. But my point of it is this. We the people, all of us, I invite you to follow a leadership because I'm asking you. I'm reaching out to you and saying to you, there is a better way of living this life. Right now, you are slaves. You work, it seems, from sunup to sundown. I know I used to do it for a 50 cent a day. From sunup to sundown, to make money, to have your place to stay, to have some transportation, to be able to get gas and stuff, to be able to feed yourself, to clothe yourself, and do the things that you do. But you're working so hard, you really can't even enjoy these things because you only got a minimum time to utilize it. And that's for what? To keep you busy. To keep you busy for what? To serve the purpose of a group, not all of you. Not all of you. To serve the interests of a special group. And so the call is let all of the people, let there not be one individual on the planet Earth that is hungry because he has no food. Let it not be one because the difference in it, if there's one and it doesn't have to be, it's the same as if everybody else was starving and one person had all of the goodies. It had no difference. So it is our duty to make sure that nobody, that everybody has access to the same things that exist. Whatever exists, if people want it, they got access to it. It is a gift from God. It is a gift from God. It is a gift from God. And if you're a dancer and you want to get on the before people because you have a talent and other stuff and you want to dance naked before the world and you feel good about it, then you should be able to dance naked before the world. If that's what you desire. Why? Because in it is the gift of God. Now somebody might say, well, they're going to call people act a different way. That's not the dance. That's the devil in you that you haven't gotten rid of. And what is actually happening is that it's being drawn forth to remind you that it's still there and what you should do is not get rid of it, but thank God for that tool, that instrument that was used to let you know that you feel just a dirty rag. Now, I didn't mean to talk this long about that. I really just wanted to talk about the end of the world as we know it. They want to destroy half of the world so they can have a good time. And by the love of our Creator being expressed through us, for us, and by us, we are going to have a different outcome. We're going to have a place here in America and on this earth. Indian, uh, Chinese, or uh, Asians, uh, Africans, uh, European, uh, wherever you are, your dreams are going to come true because the power to do it is in your hands. Always been in your hands. Bye-bye. <laughs>